One door closes, another door opens. The game season has just finished and Crow is back on the pigeons while doing some secret squirrel field testing. Today it's Operation Mass Attack. All the local farmers are out on their rape fields. There are more than a hundred acres in every direction to protect, so the fields they aren't shooting on are being made uncomfortable by bangers. So all is good, or is it? Despite the planning, Crow is not happy with the weatherman. I've, look, I've looked on uh, looked at the weather. They said it was going to be dry today. It's raining. It was actually chucking it down earlier, so we we sat it out a bit, um, but it eased off a little bit. So we decided to bite the bullet and get going. Everyone else, no one else has set up yet. They're just doing the same as us, really, just sitting about waiting for the rain to stop. But, but I want to be set up so that when everyone starts shooting, we're up and ready to go. I've got plus one here today. Um, uh, to help me out. He hadn't had a day for a while, so he's here today, so I'm going to have a set of decoys out that side and a set of decoys out this side. The decoy setup is a bit different today. At this time of year, the pigeons tend to feed in a different way to summer and to autumn. Higher numbers will gather on one area. I'm putting them a bit tight this time. We shot this hide about four, three, four weeks ago and uh, they've still been feeding here, but every time we go, they, they tend to go on the the rape next door because I've been doing pheasants and everything between so I haven't been about when they've been about so as soon as they shoot they come over onto my rape and as soon as I come on a Sunday they go on their rape so it hasn't worked too well so quite looking forward to it just to show about the weather really um, I'm glad I do my job better than the weather people do theirs because uh, I'll be out of a job on it. The unexpected weather is keeping Crow on his toes the decoys need careful management throughout the day. As you can see you've got the rain on here and as the day goes, as, as it goes on, it starts to dry. They turn black, and they be too dark. So, but as soon as we start shooting through a few fresh ones, we take these off, take these off, and uh, put fresh ones on there. Look a lot better. I just wish it's bloody rain to go away. Really. But I'm a fine weather shooter. No, I'm not. The hides are set up, and we are just about ready to go. Gary is set up by Crow in the hot spot, but there's a chance of trench foot. Well, apart from the water in the ditch, it's, it's, a, it's a nice hide. Yeah, that makes a big difference as well, having a good hide. It really does. You know, if your hide's not right, then uh, you're, you're, you're at a bit of a disadvantage straight away. That's a lovely hide, as I say. Do the shame about the foot bath. <laughs> there are big packs of pigeons flying over, but Crow is leaving them to pass as shooting at a single bird is a false economy. He's playing the long game as they're dropping over into the next field. However, that could prove costly right now as the weather sends a small number of pigeons straight over. Oh, it's a bit slow, but as you can see by when we started filming what it's like now, it is brightening up. Um, hopefully things start moving. I've been feeding here, so if everyone st sticks it out and stays on the fields and they, sh so they haven't got nowhere to get in, we, we should be quids in. The communication in the hides isn't going to plan either. There is some tension over whose bird is whose. Yeah, you, went, you went for the close one. I told you to go for the firmer one. Did I tell you to go for the firmer one or did I tell you to go for the firmer one? If, you, if you'd gone for the firmer one, the close one would have been easier for me. And I thought, well, he ain't going to get that. Something Crow has been keeping close to his chest is that he is field testing some new shells that he's developing with Game Boar. It's all terribly top secret. We're trying out some uh, new cartridges today. Um, I've changed their uh, velocities and that on some cartridges. I've been working with uh, Game Boar um, for a few weeks now. They sent me some down to test out and, well, well and we've got some more birds coming. As always, Crow's mind is elsewhere, and the explanation is put on hold as the birds start to come. But you can see from that long shot, the shells are shaping up well. They're working for Gary, too. Brilliant, I'm over the moon. I've had some cracking shots today. Really have. These new cartridges at Andy's got, a, they're awesome. Absolutely awesome. I mean, they're so consistent. And now that the bird rush has finished, Crow can explain what's so special about these cartridges. There even may be a certain someone featuring on the box. Look at that! Happy with that one, Andy. I was happy with that one. Um, we, 
we've been killing some stonkers today. We're testing out some uh, some new cartridges. Um, this is here. Game boy sent me some down to test out. A man, have we shot some stonkers today? Just told them I wanted something a little bit faster, um, a little bit more punch, and they've definitely got it. They've changed the pressures, and uh, oh, quite some of the stuff here. We, it wasn't all, all plain sailing, it was a bit tough at the beginning, they were a little bit faster than what I've been used to. And some of the stuff we shot, we've looked at each other and surprised ourselves really. You, you shoot at one and then shoot a bit further and just getting out there. Just like that one, Gary Gary missed it and I nailed it right out across the field. And it was, it, like that one, he got that one. And that, that was quite a nice shot. But just watch this space, I think it's a case of, and we'll see where we go. Although the day has not been as fruitful as he hoped, Crow has been happy with how his testing has gone. No, I think we got between 50 and 60, I think we got. Um, but they've been 50 or 60 good, good birds, we had one or two decoyed, but, but most of what we've shot have been coming over top, coming through or flying past. So nothing's really been committed today, so it's been a, it's been a hard day, but it's been a good day. I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, and that's testing these cartridges, and they've gone really well. So an exciting year ahead, and when we know something, you'll know something.